ever look outside during a torrential rainstorm or blizzard and think to yourself, thank God I'm not flying today. Air travel is inconvenient enough without enduring bad weather. For actress and host Marisha Ray, a winter flight wasn't just inconvenient, it was downright horrifying. So no one enjoys flying. Flying's never really a preferred experience, I, I don't believe. And no one really enjoys flying through Chicago O'Hare. I was trying to go home for Christmas during the holidays, and I'm from East Coast, kind of Kentucky area. So you generally have to transfer flights if you're going to get back to Kentucky because no one really wants to go to Kentucky. So flying out while in the air, I was on American Airlines. And while in the air, a giant blizzard hit Chicago. So we couldn't land, and we had to emergency land in Detroit. Emergency landed, ended up sitting on the tarmac for seven hours. If any of you all understand screaming children on airplanes, I mean, it, it's kind of a trope, really. Um, this was a hellscape. The plane got hot and sweaty, and parents were like calling over uh, flight attendants to try and tell them, please, just do you have anything for my screaming child who's starving at this point? And they're like, well, we got like a cracker box if you want to charge eight dollars for it. Eight dollars for fucking crackers? So I already knew that this was not a good situation. Finally decide, safe enough to fly take off in the air, and it's only like 30 minutes tops from Detroit to Chicago. Get over top of Chicago and start realizing that the plane is just circling the airport. We're not, we're not landing. And you know when things always start going wrong because the flight attendants start looking panicked because flight attendants have seen fucking everything. So when a flight attendant starts panicking, I feel it's okay to get concerned. So they're kind of, they're bustling around and then they start making the rounds to people to try and tell us to be calm. Everything's okay. Just waiting for a lane to open. <clears throat> and I look out the window and I notice those little flaps on the wings of the airplane that they try and get to float up so that you don't die when you land, those weren't working. The wing was completely iced over. Pretty sure about half of the landing gear wasn't working. About this time, I start catching on and I'm really cool under pressure. So of course, the first thing I do is turn around to the woman behind me and I say, we're gonna die. So I was totally that first person that started panicking and the pilot decides he's gonna go for it, and the flight attendants come over, and they tell us to stay seated and hold on. So we all held on, and I'm looking out the window, hoping that I'm not gonna see the final moments before my death as the ground is just hitting me in my, the face. It was a very rough landing, and that plane came to a stop, and there was a brief moment of silence, and then everyone just jumped up out of their seats and started screaming and cheering, and everyone had a new appreciation for life after that. That was probably the best Christmas that everyone on that plane had because they actually like loved their family and their children for the rest of that holiday season, and then they forgot about it. But in that one moment, I was horrified. And fuck you, American Airlines. Fuck you. Out of everything, you were the most horrifying out of all of this fucking experience. Eight dollars for fucking. Gr They're screaming children. Give them some goddamn chocolate milk. For shame. Dicks. But I was legit horrified. Mm -hmm.